Today in the grain market, the corn dropped 23 and three quarter cents. There's more liquidation uh, and it's just like pressuring the futures. We had a 42 cent drop really from yesterday's high. And it just tells us that the USDA report is pretty much over now. Now, it wasn't really a bearish report. It was relatively neutral, but we were uh, maybe expecting a little bit more or the bulls in the market uh, with the rally the way it's been really needed a little bit better news to uh, underpin the support in the market. Now, the May option volatility was also down like 2%, down to 32% overall. And it looks like the roll is going to begin from March to May as the option expiration is going to be coming up next week. Now, the open interest in the options on, in the March contract is the 530 strike is at 20,000 contracts with the $5 strike at 38,000 contracts. Now, we had talked about that earlier, that that may be a little bit of a magnet pulling the market a little bit lower. And of course, after the report, sometimes we get a little bit of a letdown and now the market's starting to move towards those numbers. Uh, that it would get there, it's very possible. Um, some experts are talking that maybe the objective would be a pullback to 520. That's still pretty strong and that would be uh, another correction and of course a, a rallying market normally needs correction like this so you know perhaps this would be an opportunity to start buying but that really looks like what the objective is going to be now soybeans did fall hard as well they were down over 45 cents i think there's just no change in uh, south american estimates and they were expecting really a reduction and that didn't come for brazil and argentina uh, that really caused some mass liquidations now some traders also think that china is pretty much you know done for a while for buying and of course uh we're you know that would also uh, give up a, a lot more of the uh, open interest and be, have some profit taking really stepping in uh the option volatility there is down like three and a quarter percent down to 22 and three quarters that just tells you when the market pulls back that we get that kind of contraction in those options market and they're a little bit of a tell uh, to where the market's going. Now, right now in the $14 strike, which is above the market, we have 13.5 thousand open interest. But in the $13, there's still 17,000 open interest. And perhaps uh, that objective uh, is, uh, uh, for some experts are looking for a 1320 um, uh, place where the market could possibly slow down. So, uh, you know, having a little bit of a pullback isn't really a surprise after a report like this. Now, wheat was lower as well. The sell-off uh, uh, to the lowest point of the channel that we're in right now uh, just it has us still in that consolidative state. Uh, futures did drop 23 and a half uh, cents and it looks like that there's a couple of issues that we have to be watching. Some private estimates were saying that the Australia crop is at 32 or 33 million uh, metric tons and that's versus the 30 of what the U.S. is saying. So at some point in time um, that could be, a, you know, a, a number that's going to be uh, coming up and that could weigh on futures right now. And certainly without corn and beans pulling wheat along, it's uh, really difficult to hold up. And I think that's why we see the big pullback today. Now, um, in the options, uh, we're looking at an objective, uh, we're looking at for the futures, I mean, we're looking at, at an objective at about 625. And actually, we're almost already there. And it doesn't surprise me that we would get there in a hurry. Uh, that's because wheat has been really a lot more volatile than corn and beans. Uh, now, pretty much the funds do remain the same relatively long across the board. And certainly February has proved to be just a sideways month when all things are considered.